Today I'm going to share something that I was um, playing around with that I think is kind of cool. Um, I'm inside Stable Diffusion on RunPod with the automatic web UI. Um, so I was looking here at, um, at script and there's a thing called XYZ plot which sounds kind of fun. Um, so I'm going to play with that. What I want to make is um, a beautiful elf maiden uh, in a mushroom forest. Art. Um, and so I guess you can imagine how that would look, but what I've learned is you can mess with some parameters to create a sort of matrix. So I'm going to go, um, let's do a different prompt. So I want Elf Maiden, I also want Elf Man. Um, so what I, what I learned is that it looks for this keyword, um, so you have to have the, the keyword first, and then it replaces it in subsequent ones. You'll see what I mean now. Um, okay, and then we also want to swap out, let's say we want to swap out Mushroom Forest for an Ancient Kingdom. Okay, and then just to play with the seeds, let's just try like three different seeds. So we're going to set one, two, and three as the seed. Um, we're going to do Elf Maiden and Elf Man, and we're going to do Mushroom Forest and Ancient Kingdom. So let's just see what happens. So now it's going to generate um, eight different images because uh, there's two by two by oh two by two by three. So um, it's going to ge generate sixteen different images. So um, you can see it's stepping through them all, and then it's going to give me a cool matrix. Almost done. I wanted to do this on my own face, but um, I don't have it trained for version two yet. Cool, so here's my matrix. Let's check it out. Okay, so we can see, firstly, the obvious thing is the impact that seeds have. So you can see that they're all quite similar within a certain seed, which is quite cool. Um, and then we can sort of look at the difference between the mushroom forest and the ancient kingdom for the same seed and for a man and a woman. I don't know, this is quite fun in terms of just understanding how small changes can affect what, uh, the kind of art you can make. So I'm learning some, some cool stuff here. It's very easy to try. Uh, I thought I'd just share it um, uh, in case you want to play with it. The other thing that's quite cool is playing with steps. So if we go for like 20, 60, and 80, I'm going to take one of these values out. Actually, that's no, fine. Let's just do it. Um, very interesting to see what happens with the same um, prompt with uh, like all the same settings except for the number of steps on the same seed. Um, interestingly, you know, when you play with stable diffusion, it's just on like random seed by default. So it's kind of hard to get that predictability, um, which, which I do think introduces some randomness and it makes it hard to understand exactly how it's working. So this sort of control is quite cool. Okay, we're halfway done. Um, I did notice that there's prompt matrix and prompts from file, which I think is also a similar thing. Um, I know prompt matrices are generally just for changing many, many variables in the prompt. This is sort of X, Y, Z plot is more for changing many things. Um, and then depth map I'm very excited about playing with, uh, but I can't get it to work yet. Okay, here comes our thing. cool. Okay, so now we get to see what different steps has on all of this. So low steps. Oops. Um, interesting, you can see it's a little bit messed up. And then as you start adding steps, hmm, this guy gets kind of weird. This is definitely more sort of blurry and ethereal when there's less steps and you can see it sort of take form and then almost get kind of washed out and like oversaturated. I mean oversaturated, not washed out. Like the detail gets kind of chunky. Yeah, so um, give it a try, could be fun.